Let them tell so, you no, you can't. You know, you asked us, you know, confiding amongst each other, uh, mm-hmm. and not necessarily asking you to confide, but you're obviously welcome to. But like, we're we're in Florida where COVID is an afterthought right like Mm -hmm. our experience with COVID is putting on a mask when you walk in a restaurant and you take it off when you sit down Mm -hmm. um other than that it's pretty open how how has your experience been with New York uh certainly the polar opposite from that even though that has become more of an experience lately with the restaurants opening up a little bit more so and there has been more of a walking in take off the mask sit down but in but in the heart of it it felt like a it felt like a war zone you know you know early early april may those months i mean it was scary uh for example i grew up in a hasidic jewish neighborhood in brooklyn and so my parents still live there because it's a great safe quiet uh place of brooklyn to live but it's millions what feels like millions of hasidic jews just in the this is their center you know Mm -hmm. that's where they live it's their bubble they don't leave it and we grew up in the in the heart of that and they never took any precautions so my parents are in their 70s my dad nearly 80s and no one is taking any precautions early on then they shut down the synagogues and we're in a community and you've got 80 Hasidic Jews out you know praying outside of my mom's window none of them wearing masks, you know, and we're in the heart of the pandemic, you know, tons of them are dying in the buildings, like, oh, the lady down the hall passed away, the Hasidic rabbi upstairs has died, and so it was really scary for me, because I know I obviously no longer live at home, and I'm scared to go over there to check on them, you know, but I, I got to see if they're okay, they were in complete lockdown, you know, couldn't even go to the trash compactor and throw out their trash we leave it out the door we'll go get it you know what i'm saying that kind of stuff so it was it was really really scary and it, and it still is scary you know i'm i'm in a in a where i live now is a predominantly uh latino community um and you know we're a lively bunch we like to be outside music playing on the stoop playing games and the, you know covid started to get bad and that's those summer months and people are itching to get outdoors. So I'd, I'd go out just for a slice of pizza real quick. And everybody's on the block playing music, dancing together, not wearing a mask initially. And it was just like, I got to run back home, you know. So it was, it was, it was, it was certainly a different experience because people are on top of each other. You know, if someone's making a different choice, lifestyle choice than you are, but their house is, you know, it's only one house, five people. And it's a hundred, you know, hundred feet away. That's different than you know stepping outside of an apartment building that has six floors and fifty apartments on every floor, and no one else in the building is wearing masks except you. You know you're scared to touch the elevator button. So it was a definitely a different experience. But that's I just got my point, first, though, and I think that's uh, why they've taken those precautions. Yeah. I just got my first vaccination dose yesterday. So, and that's a whole other conversation, of course, you know, but yeah, I just feeling thought, good. You know, there's, How do you feel? I feel yeah. good. I feel good. I, I thought that everyone said the second day could be a lot worse or you, you could feel a little sick or down. My energy's been up. I've done a good job of hydrating, but no headache, no kind of coughing. I, after the second shot. I heard the second shot gets crazy, but if some of, yeah. some of my friends have, had that kind of experience from the first shot as well. Oh, wow. So Damn. whatever. 